So uh, we invite Professor uh, Arakawa to give his last lecture on uh, vertex uh, algebras and their representations. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, and I'm also grateful for organizers for the invitation. So yesterday I talk, I define uh, this uh, double algebras and explain how it looks for type A and explain the, uh, it's, it's simple module is parameterized by, by the central characters. And so you can define uh, uh, verma modules and, and, and simple modules and the character of a simple module looks quite simple. So you, you want to express uh, the character of uh, a simple module in terms of the character of a, a verma module. Okay, so how, how we can do such a thing when we don't know uh, the commutation relation of the algebra? We don't know uh, uh, commutation relation, but we have uh, this uh, BRST reduction a functor. So as in the case of a, a, a finite dimensional setting, uh, if you consider a smooth Hart module of level K, and, and co consider a, a cohomology with coefficient in M, uh, this becomes a, a module of a double algebra. So in this way, you get a, a functor uh, from the category of a smooth d hat module of level K to the category of module of a double algebra. So in this category, we have uh, uh, our favorite category O, and also, uh, so this is a, a usual a category of, of highest rate module. So we have a, a Verma module and, and unique simple quotient. And this is uh, exactly the simple object in this category. And we also have a Kazanogistic category. So by Kazanogistic category, I mean uh, uh, the full subcategory of category of uh, category O. Uh, consisting of objects uh, which uh, uh, so G, G hat contains a fine algebra contains finite dimension the algebra and naturally so when we restrict the representation uh, to this sub algebra it's a direct sum of finite dimensional representation and uh, so here uh, so for example uh, so the simple module belongs to this way if and only if lambda is integral dominant as a weight of a finite dimension the G. And, and this uh, universal affine uh, vertex algebra, the simple quotient. So a bit confusing notation, but the simple quotient is the same as LK0 uh, as a, a G hat module. But these things are object in this category. Now, uh, so we can uh, restrict this uh, functor uh, to here or here. And this works very well when uh, uh, g equals to SL2, uh, which, uh, in which we double algebra is a Virazo algebra. So in this case, uh, we have a vanishing of cohomology for all objects in the category O. So this means that the functor uh, from category O to the category of module of the double algebra, uh, in this case, the Razor algebra, is exact. And the image of uh, Verma module is always uh, Verma module of the Razor algebra. And the image of simple is zero or uh, a simple of uh, Razor. And it's zero if, uh, if and only uh, it satisfies this condition. So, so this is quite nice because, uh, so we get, so any uh, simple highest weight representation of the Virazor algebra uh, can be obtained as an image of a, a simple module of affine SL2. And because of the exactness, uh, so this functor uh, uh, defines a map between a uh, group and a group. So in particular, it defines a map between uh, the characters. So if you can, if you write the character of simple module 
in terms of a character of gamma module, which is known, which is written in terms of the affine Kazan Lustig polynomial. So it's proved by Kashiwa and Tansak in Jidan. Uh, we get <coughs> uh, this character for, uh, formula for the uh, Virazoro uh, uh, algebra uh, uh, for free. So in this way, uh, so representation theory of Virazoro algebra it, it has been already known, but in this way, we get the character of all simple high set representation of the Virazoro algebra from the character formula of s so we want to uh, uh, generalize uh, such a statement to higher on the case. Uh, I, I should uh, remark that the, this result uh, holds for, for any uh, uh, basic classical simple D super algebra, which includes all simple D algebra and its minimal nilpotent element. So minimal nilpotent element means that the uh, corresponding nilpotent orbit has a, a smallest possible smallest dimension, and this is important can, case when uh, this because this includes almost all a uh, superconformal algebra. But uh, if you consider a non-minimal nilpotent element, uh, uh, it's not unfortunately it's not true that, that the, this factor is exact. So exactness is broken for, for, for general case. Uh, the, the reason is the following. Uh, so if, 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 if this functor uh, is exact, then uh, if we, we have a, a embedding of a Vama module in the Lie algebra side, this should in, in, induce uh, embedding of a, 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 a corresponding uh, module of the W algebra. But uh, it's, it, uh, it turns out that the uh, L0 eigenvalue, let's say H mu, H lambda. So if such an embedding uh, holds, uh, because we are considering lowest way to represent this in terms of the eigenvalue, this, this inequality should hold. But in reality, uh, it, it may, it's happened that, the, uh, the, it happened that this is smaller than uh, H lambda. So we cannot expect uh, that the uh, exact, exactness holds uh, for, for, for general case, except for the uh, minimal nilpotent element case. Uh, however, uh, if we restrict to, to, to this characteristic category, this kind of problem doesn't happen, and, and you can show that the functor is exact. But unfortunately, we cannot get all a simple module in this way. So you have to uh, uh, modify uh, a little bit uh, our construction. But this is uh, possible. <coughs> uh, so as we did in the finite dimensional <coughs> setting, we can uh, change uh, upper uh, nilpotent algebra to, to lower nilpotent algebra by uh, twisting the action uh, by by twisting the action of, of this vertex algebra uh, by uh, this uh, element of extended affine variable so the essential part of, of, of this uh, modification is is this part so if you twist by uh, this part uh, we get uh, this kind of uh, <coughs> semi-infinite cohomology, where the character is defined by uh, uh, this formula. So before the character, uh, before the character, sorry, this is minus. 
is n minus. Before character uh, was something like delta n minus one x f, and because of because this was not zero, uh, it breaks the, the, the grading. So it's not compatible with the uh, grading here. So this uh, uh, this is a reason why uh, this kind of uh, uh, funny problem occurs. But if you uh, twist the action by this affine value group element, uh, this fixes uh, the problem, such a problem. And uh, uh, so this, you, you don't get, so, so it keeps the ordering of the way. Now, the, the statement is that this is indeed uh, uh, provides uh, a desired result. So we have the uh, vanishing of the cohomology for all objects in the category O. So, so the functor uh, gives, so functor is exact. And the image of uh, Vamamos is always a uh, one. And the image of simple is is a zero over simple. And simple if lambda is anti-dominant as a weight of uh, finite image of Yazi. So for each uh, uh, a central character, the exact there's uh, at least one anti-dominant weight. So so for each central character, you you find a lambda such that the uh, this simple module appear. So in this way, uh, we get a character of uh, e all uh, irreducible representation, or irreducible highest weight representation of W. So the character is written in terms of uh, affine Kazan's polynomial. Um, any questions so far? Oh. Uh, may I ask a question? Yes. Uh, uh, can you get about uh, uh, previous functor you told that this is exact for the category K, KL of uh, KL, right? Right, right, right. The mark. So this is for for super algebras, for basic? Ah, uh, at the moment, this is for, for the algebra. Mm -hmm. For, for, for G, G, the algebra. Uh, it's not proven uh, yet for, for, for this version. Uh, uh, I see. Uh, do, do you think it, it is it is useful this uh, this? Uh, yeah, this is this uh, at all, or, or you prefer to, 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 to use the next one, which is somehow. Uh, so both uh, are quite important. Uh, this is very uh, nice. Uh, this is this factor is not compatible with the vertex algebra structure because, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the original factor is is, uh, uh, is compatible with the uh, vertex algebra structure. So I I, I I use this original factor to to determine uh, the associated variety, uh, which I talk uh, uh, a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, any other question? Okay, so um, so so this is a general uh, theory of a representation theory of uh, 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 double algebras, but uh, I'd like to talk a little bit more. Uh, for, for some, some nice cases. For example, we have a nice uh, family of representation of fine continuity algebra called integral representation. So, so we hope to have such, such a nice uh, representation uh, of uh, a double algebra. So in the language of, of the vertex algebra, uh, such a niceness uh, uh, implies uh, the following statement. So, so I, I, I explain what is nice uh, uh, for, for vertex algebra, algebra, but if vertex algebra is nice, 
then uh, there exist only a finite many simple uh, uh, modules. And, and, and uh, this normalized character uh, converge to a holomorphic function uh, on the upper half plane where the Q is constant to e to two pi i tau and tau is a, a element of upper half plane. And moreover, uh, the set of the vector uh, consisting of a, a normalized character of this simple module form a vector valued modular function. So Zhu proved uh, the SVQ invariance of, of this uh, the space spanned by this normalized character. And the Donlin D uh, proved the uh, congruence property. So this is a very strong uh, result. And moreover, uh, Juan uh, proved that the category of the Wii module, which is a, a, a yeah, for a Wii module has, has a, a, a natural uh, tensor category structure. And with this tensor category structure, it, it's a modular tensor category. So like a, a category of module of, uh, <coughs> yeah. So, so in particular, this gives rise to the invariant invariant of the three manifolds. So if you have a, a, a nice vertex algebra, uh, you get uh, this kind of very strong result for free. However, of course, it, it's very difficult to find such a nice vertex algebra. Now, uh, let me explain what nice means here. So I have to explain a little bit of a notation. Uh, so this already uh, appeared, because uh, Evazini uh, asked about six algebra. So if uh, V is, is a vertex algebra, you, you, you consider, uh, you can associate some a finitely generated Poisson algebra. Uh, so it's, it's constructed as a certain quotient of vertex algebra. Uh, like in the case of Zeus algebra. So I will not explain much about this construction, uh, uh, but this Poisson algebra, uh, uh, if you look at the example, you, 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 I think you agree that this is quite a natural thing to consider. And, but because this is a finitely generated Poisson algebra, it, it makes sense to consider the corresponding spectrum. So this is we call associate variety of vertex algebra. And uh, in the case of affine vertex algebra, this uh, C2 algebra, it's just a symmetric algebra of G or, or as a polynomial function on, on G star. Uh, and the Poisson the structure is a usual trivial Poisson uh, structure. So it's coming from the bracket of, of G. So, so the uh, associated variety of affine vertex, uh, universal affine vertex, are really just G star. And if you take a simple quotient, it's a, it's a, if you take a quotient of the vertex algebra and the variety becomes a sub variety. And uh, this is a G invariant and the conic sub variety of, uh, uh, of G star. And for, for double algebra, uh, it is uh, uh, the so-called uh, constant the slow this way. So this is a, a very basic example of uh, why stress uh, section appeared in Tony's scope. Uh, so in particular, uh, with the restriction map gives the isomorphism. Uh, so there's a map from here to here given by a restriction uh, gives gives a, a <coughs> isomorphism with a, a, in, a G invariant polynomials on G star. So, so the uh, associated variety of uh, uh, double algebra, it just a fine space with uh, a constant slice, slice and which is, uh, uh, which admits uh, contracting uh, a cyst action contracting to, to this point, uh, to this point uh, F. And if you take a simple quotient, this is simple, simple quotient, 
then the corresponding variety is a sister invariant sub variety of, of uh, constant slow disease. Now, so one of the uh, condition to be nice is that the uh, this variety is is finite uh, is zero dimensional. Well, equivalently, this C uh, two algebra is finite dimensional. So this is certain a uh, finiteness condition. And for example, if uh, uh, the case of a uh, simple affine vertex algebra, this is this. Uh, if and only if uh, this is integrable as a G hat model. So this uh, this condition uh, characterize uh, inter integrability condition. And so 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 using this this condition, you. Uh, this integrability condition is generalized to, to arbitrary vertex algebra. So this is a very nice uh, natural uh, finiteness condition. And we say uh, vertex algebra is nice if uh, V is least, and also uh, v, is, if v is rational. Uh, that is any uh, positively uh, graded module is completely uh, reducible. And for uh, Simple affine vertex algebra, these two conditions uh, are equivalent, but in general, it's not. So we impose both of these two conditions. Uh, then uh, uh, the previous uh, theorem holds, and we get this kind of very nice uh, striking properties. Uh, I, I should uh, say that the, uh, if V is rational, then uh, those algebra is same simple. So when you want to prove uh, rationality, uh, first thing you try to do is, is, is to prove the same simplicity of uh, those algebra and try to describe a simple model. Okay, so so the question is when uh, double algebra with simple the, so universal one is never a uh, this because it's, it's a, a fine space which has positive dimension. But simple quotient may, may have uh, this kind of nice properties. So the question is when uh, uh, they satisfy uh, this uh, property. Can I ask, is, is, um, is, the, is the category always a tensor category and this is just needed to make it modular or do, do some of these conditions needed to make it a tensor category? Uh, you need some finiteness condition. So like a finite regenerity module, something like that. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you restrict to a uh, sufficiently uh, small category, it becomes a tensor, tensor category. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. My last question here. Yes. Uh, so in... Uh, in in uh, your definition, uh, in, in the definition of rational, sees only positively graded V models, right? Right, right. Uh, but under this condition, actually, uh, any uh, module is positively graded. Any simple module is positively mm -hmm. graded. So, so uh, this condition is, in, uh, in fact, not necessary if uh, this condition is satisfied. So, any simple module is positively graded, and then it means that any uh, any uh, any model is completely reducible. Uh, 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 yes. So if, if V is this, then uh, any uh, simple module, uh, any simple module is is uh, positively graded. Okay. Any simple model is positively graded. I just. I'm sorry. It's. Uh, but it doesn't uh, doesn't guarantee it, 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 uh, it's a rational. Yes, but if suppose that V is this, and uh, uh, does it mean that any model is completely reducible? No, 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 no. Um, no. It, it might have uh, extension. But any positive, any simple model is positively graded, right? Right, right, right. And uh, and we know that positively graded models are completely reducible. If no, no, this we don't know. No. 
No, but suppose both conditions hold. Does it mean that? that... Uh, 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 yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Right. <laughs> okay. So uh, now I uh, want to know when uh, double algebra uh, satisfies this function. So this is a very difficult problem if you try to look at this condition directly. But we have this uh, BRST reduction factor. So we want to use this uh, to, to find uh, the such a condition. And the uh, statement is uh, the, uh, actually you can describe the associated variety of the uh, BRST reduction of the simple module. It's just the intersection of the associated variety of the affine vertex algebra with a constant slow distance. So this, if we know uh, associated variety for affine, uh, you know the associated variety of its reduction. And in particular, if, if the associated variety is an important cone of Z, then it's known by a constant that the, uh, this intersection is exactly one point, this nilpotent element F. So, so, so this is certainly a zero dimensional. So this means that the, uh, uh, you know, this vertex algebra is this. And so it's simple quotient to, to the double kg. So, so this reduces uh, describing the associated variety to describing the associated variety for affine vertex algebra. And the similar thing holds for, for Zeus algebra. A Zeus algebra of reduction is the, so Zeus algebra if of a, a simple module is a quotient of U, UG. So this is a certain quotient of UG. So you can uh, do the this is a, a BRST cohomology that appeared uh, when I explained the constant Whittaker, uh, constant uh, Whittaker model, uh, a BRST realization of the constant Whittaker mo model. So if, if this was UG, if this is just the center of UG, but you can do the same construction uh, to, to define a quotient algebra. And uh, so if you know uh, this, you basically know the Zuz algebra for, for the reduction. Now, so, well, so now what we want to do is we want to find the representation for the associated varieties exactly the nilpotent cone and describe this Zuz algebra. But uh, so the first thing you, you think of is, of course, uh, integral representation, because it's a nicest representation of affine Katsumi algebra. But as, as I explained, the, it's, it, it's, uh, it, this is a lease. Uh, so, so the associated variety is just zero. So there's no intersection with nilpotent cone. So this means that the, uh, this, the functor kills the integral representation. So you, 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 want, you have to consider a more general uh, representation of uh, a fine cut smoothie algebra. And uh, uh, in fact, uh, the integral representation is contained in, in much more larger uh, a family of admissible re uh, uh, representation called uh, admissible representation, or Katsuakimoto admissible representation, which satisfies all nice, almost all nice properties of uh, integral representation, such as complete reducibility and uh, modular invariance of characters. And uh, so this one. This vacuum uh, simple module is admissible uh, if and only if uh, the shifted level is, is a positive rational number uh, where uh, uh, numerator is not so small. So this case was happened if and only if uh, a k is a non-negative integer. 
but uh, for this case, uh, admissible case is a level uh, is a rational number. number. And uh, so actually you can describe, determine the associated variety of admissible representation uh, and, and the statement- Sir, can I ask a question? Yes. And what is our check? In this form. Ah, sorry, forgot to explain. Yeah, our check is a lacing number. So it's a maximum number of uh, edges in the Dinkin diagram. So it's one, two, three for a D, one for a D, E, and G, two for what? Uh, B, C, F, and it's three for or G, G, two. Thank you. Yeah, uh, and uh, H is a Coxeter number. Uh, this is dual Coxeter number. Right, uh, so for, for admissible representation, associated variety is a closure of nilpotent orbit. And, and you can dis describe uh, explicitly as, as this, for, uh, as I said, this, this, this is just uh, de uh, described by this uh, equation. So here, yeah, theta s is the highest short root. And uh, this is a representation uh, whose highest weight is, is theta s. Yes. And, and uh, as you see from uh, this formula, uh, if q is sufficiently large, uh, this is, uh, there's an it just this condition just means nilpotent, so this this uh, variety is exactly the nilpotent cone of Z. So uh, we we say uh, admissible uh, representation uh, uh, non degenerate admissible uh, representation if associated variety is nilpotent cone. So this means Q is sufficiently large. I think, uh, I think Q, for, for this case, Q is uh, greater than Co uh, Coxter, a dual Coxter number or something like that. And uh, so by previous uh, uh, theorem, uh, if, uh, non, non if uh, this one is a non-degenerate admissible representation, then uh, this one is automatically elise. And also you can uh, prove that the uh, Zeus algebra is uh, same simple. And, 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 and using this, you can also prove that the double uh, is, is rational. So this gives a, a family of uh, a nice uh, vertex algebra. And for, for SL2, this, uh, Rational uh, Virasolo vertex algebra is exactly the uh, minimal series of Virasolo vertex algebra. So it's uh, a simple Virasolo vertex with uh, algebra with central charge given by this uh, number. And uh, so, 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 so this, this is a vast generalization of the minimal series of uh, uh, Virasolo algebra. So it's called a minimal series uh, double algebra. Okay, so uh, any questions so far? Right, so now, uh, if not, I want to explain uh, some recent uh, development. Um, I didn't really explain, but the vertex algebra has its origin in, in 2D uh, chiral conformal field theory. So uh, this uh, gives a rigid mathematical formulation of uh, a conformal field theory. But now people are observing uh, various connection of vertex algebra with uh, higher dimensional uh, quantum field theories. So this is a very uh, recent phenomenon, uh, but actually it was a very first example of such a, a connection uh, of vertex algebra with higher dimension 
The theory was found uh, by Nakajima in 1904 when he constructed a representation of affine Katsumudi algebras on the homology group, in, homology group of instant homogenized space of 4D gauge theories. And because uh, affine Katsumudi algebra is, is naturally a natural example of a vertex algebra, this shows a connection, such a connection. But now uh, uh, such a, a phenomena appear everywhere and the vertex algebra are appearing uh, uh, everywhere. And uh, I'd like to talk about one of such uh, a connection, uh, which is called uh, 4D, 2D duality. Uh, I forgot to say, uh, so when a dimension of a field theory is gre greater than two, there's no, uh, at the moment, there's no uh, mathematical formulation. So it's meaningful to find uh, any uh, such a connection uh, with the vertex algebra, so because the vertex algebra is something very uh, 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 rigorous object. Now, uh, the uh, this uh, people being being all uh, constructed a functor or map uh, from the category of four dimensional. N equals to two super conformal field theories, whatever it means, to the category of the vertex algebra. And uh, I will not explain what, what it is, but this is a very uh, rich theory. And uh, the reason why they constructed such a, a map is that the, uh, there's an important invariant or observable of this uh, 4D theory called the Schuer index, which is uh, some, 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 some Q series. And this Q series is obtained as a character of this vertex algebra. So this is very nice because uh, uh, here, uh, the Hilbert space is not a uh, irreducible representation of a large algebra. But here, uh, Hilbert space is a reducible representation of uh, uh, a vertex algebra. So you can uh, uh, use representation theory of vertex algebra to compute this uh, important invariant. Now, what is more surprising uh, is that this map is defined by certain uh, dimensional reduction. So it's natural to, uh, to think that you, you lose much information, but this map is, is injective in examples so far. So it's not now uh, physicists to believe that this is uh, so inject, injective. So the so this vertex algebra uh, uh, a complete invariant of this uh, uh, very rich physical theory. On, on the other on the other hand, uh, the image is never unitary. So so this map is not subjective. So. We have uh, some very nice, interesting uh, full subcategory coming from a uh, 4D theory. So this is already exciting, but there's uh, also this following a uh, remarkable conjecture by Beam and Restiri. So as I said, this is a very uh, rich theory. You have uh, uh, several uh, uh, mathematical invariant other than a sure index. And one of them is the so-called Higgs branch, which is a hypercalar cone. So this is a geometric invariant. And the conjecture is that for any, for this theory, the Higgs branch can be recovered as associated variety of the corresponding vertex algebra. So this is very uh, a remarkable conjecture because a vertex algebra is is purely algebraic object, and you don't really expect that you 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 you, you obtain uh, such a very in so this is Higgs branch is a very uh, rich geometric object, and you, you are supposed to recover such a, a hypercalar variety. 
So maybe I should uh, comment on, on the connection with Kulan branches because it's been uh, quite popular uh, nowadays. So uh, you can, uh, uh, so the Kulan branch business uh, popular uh, nowadays is uh, associated with a three dimensional theory. But you can uh, obtain three dimensional theory from a 4D theory we are talking about by so-called S1 compatification. And Higgs branch remains the same. But, but then uh, by 3D mirror symmetry, uh, this is supposed to be isomorphic to, to Coulomb branch of the mirror theory. So this Higgs branch it is it's the same as Coulomb branch of the mirror theory of the 3D reduction of, of the 4D theory. Now, uh, as I said, uh, so, so we are interested now uh, the vertex algebra that is coming from a 4D theory. But if you believe this uh, conjecture, uh, this image is not least because if it's least, it's zero dimensional. It can be zero dimensional, but it's not interesting case. So, so the vertex algebra coming from for this theory is not nice anymore in, in the previous sense, sense. So we want to some, but we need some, some condition. Otherwise uh, we cannot control anything. So we want to look for some condition uh, uh, which is uh, uh, suitable to study a 4D theory. So we say a uh, uh, vertex algebra uh, uh, quasi this if associated variety has a finite remaining symplectic leaves. So this is a Poisson variety. So you can make sense of a symplectic variety. So it may be uh, infinitely many, but we say uh, quasi this if V has a this one has finite many asymplectic leaves. So this is certainly a finiteness condition. And uh, by physical consideration, uh, the Higgs branch is expected to be, uh, uh, to have a finite remaining symplectic leaves. So, so, so the corresponding vertex algebra is, is, is expected to be quasi leaves. And for the quotient of simple affine vertex algebra, this is quasi leaves if and only if associated varieties contained in the nilpotent cone. And as I explained, this is a case uh, when uh, this one is, is admissible. And indeed, uh, admissible affine vertex algebra come from a 4D theory if uh, the level is, is boundary admissible. So these uh, uh, examples of uh, uh, vertex algebra coming for, from for this theory. And uh, so we can uh, say something about quasi uh, vertex algebra. So what we can say uh, is that the, uh, yeah, so we can say, we can show that the, uh, if V is quasi leaf there are only finite and many simple ordinary module. So ordinary means that the, uh, this character makes sense. So there are only a, fine, a homogeneous component of finite dimension. Huh? And for, for such a representation, uh, we have a, a modularity uh, of the character. So, so this, uh, this uh, normalized character uh, uh, satisfy certain um, uh, linear differential equation called the modular linear differential equation. And the solution space of a modular linear differential equation is invariant under the action of Bessel 2G. So this uh, proves a, a certain uh, modularity of the character of a quasi least vertex algebra in general. And if you believe uh, beam Rastelli conjecture, uh, this implies that the Schuer index has uh, modular, uh, some modularity problem, property. 
And this is uh, 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 important uh, the result uh, even in, in physics. Now, uh, we can say uh, more about quasi least vertex algebra. So for vertex algebra, you, you, there's always a canonical filtration and associated graded is a commutative algebra. And you can consider a spectrum. And uh, if V is quasi least, this is isomorphic to the arc scheme of the associated variety as topological space. So in other words, uh, the vertex algebra coming from for this theory, theory is a quantization of the arc scheme of, of Higgs branch. Now, uh, so I wrote this as a conjecture, but this is, it's now widely accepted um, uh, in, in phys physics community, but this is really uh, uh, physical conjecture, meaning that the, this for this theory is, is not defined. So to make sense uh, mathematically the conjecture, you need to reformulate uh, uh, this, 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 this statement in some other way. Uh, Sorry, may I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so about this theorem uh, on arc schemes. Uh, uh, so how, how important is the condition of being quasi -lis? Uh I think it's important. <laughs> so you, you have some counter examples, right? I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I need a simple. We need simplicity because uh, for, for commutative uh, vertex algebra, uh, it's easy to com uh, construct counter example. For example, thank you. And uh, yeah, so I have five minutes. Uh, so let me explain briefly. Uh, there's a, a theory called classes where S stands for, for six. And theory of classes comes from uh, a six dimensional theory. You, so you, you, you compactify a six dimensional theory on, on the uh, punctured Riemann surface. So by, by doing this, you reduce dimension by two. So the corresponding theory has uh, punctured Riemann surface as a parameter, and also a complex and simple group, uh, which is called the flavor symmetry group by physics. So this theory has two, two parameters. And for this theory of 4D, uh, a more Tachikawa gave a mathematical description of the Higgs branches in terms of uh, two dimensional topological quantum field theory up to a conjecture. But this conjecture uh, was proved by uh, Braverman and Finkelberg and Nakajima. So we have a, a nice uh, mathematical uh, definition of Higgs branches for class S theory. So I don't think I have time to explain this fancy construction of, uh, of these uh, Higgs branches. But there's some nice uh, a mathematical uh, definition of of, uh, of this uh, Higgs branches, and uh, <coughs> so so now we can try to uh, upgrade the construction and of more Tachika and Braver and Finkelberg Nakajima to the vertex algebra setting, and this is actually uh, possible to do. And uh, yeah, so what, what we can show that the, uh, we can construct a family of a vertex algebra whose uh, associate variety, uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, so 
whose associate variety uh, as a uh, Higgs branch is uh, constructed by uh, Bravais and Finkel and Nakajima. So that uh, it proves the beam rusty conjecture uh, for this class is theory. So for each uh, punctured Riemann surface and, and uh, a complex semi-simple group, we have a family of uh, 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 vertex algebra, which satisfied certain properties required uh, by physicists. And this I'm writing here uh, the case for, for genus zero, uh, Riemann surface. And they, 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 they satisfy very, very, very uh, interesting properties. And they are, uh, uh, so I have only two minutes. Uh, uh, no, you have seven minutes. Uh, I have seven minutes. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe I explain an example. Uh, so, so this is a case when a group is, SL2. And uh, so writing here is a three punctured case. So in this case, a Higgs branch is just a tensor product of C2. So C2 has a natural, yeah, so this is naturally symplectic variety. And the corresponding vertex algebra is, is a so called beta gamma system. So quantization of uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, the space is, is a wide algebra, naturally, and beta gamma system is a fin natural affinization of a wide algebra. So for this case, it's, it's the, the variety and the vertex algebra is quite simple, but this becomes more interesting when the puncture are four. So in this case, I didn't really explain, but the, uh, we have a, action of group uh, so G on, on the variety and vertex algebra so number of punctures so we should have uh, uh, so here we have uh, three copy action of three copy of SL2 on each which correspond to three puncture. So now we should have uh, uh, four action of uh, SL2 on, on the uh, variety and vertex algebra. And for variety, it's a minimal nilpotent orbit closure in, in D4, although uh, we are considering the SL2 case. The reason why D4 appear is that if you write uh, Dinkin diagram, you find uh, three commuting action of SL2. But if you write affine Dinkin diagram, you find another one. So you, in this way, you see four commuting action on SL2 on this minimal nilpotent of closure. And this is the, the, the Higgs branch for, for, for this case. And uh, I should remark that this is a singular variety. So Higgs branch, uh, uh, the, the singular variety in general. And the uh, corresponding vertex algebra is, is uh, uh, simple affine vertex algebra associated with a D4 at the level minus two. And minus two is a critical level for SL2. And for some reason, it's always critical, but this is not critical level for, for D4. So this is a conformal vertex algebra. So you, you can make sense of a, a, a more normalized character. And this, this yeah. So this is an example for, 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 for this case. And uh, <laughs> yeah, there are some uh, uh, compatibility condition, uh, non-trivial compatibility condition. And for SL3, uh, for, for this case, uh, 
this is already non-trivial. You get the minimal nilpotent of closure in E6. The reason e why E6 appear is that the, uh, we have three commuting action of uh, SL3, uh, as we see from the affine Dinkin diagram. And the corresponding vertex algebra is the affine, simple affine vertex algebra for E6 at the level minus three, and minus three is a critical level for SL3. But in general, there's no, uh, uh, this variety and vertex algebra have, don't have any a simple a description, and, and they are completely new family of uh, symplectic varieties and, and uh, vertex algebra. So, so there are much more uh, uh, interesting vertex algebras which have interesting associated varieties, uh, uh, conjecture. So, because for the theory is very rich and almost all interesting hyperkehra cone come from uh, appear as Higgs branch of uh, uh, for the theory. So we should have uh, a vertex algebra which quantize or chiralize such a, a hyperkehra cone. But, but, but this uh, uh, not much is known at the moment. So there are much more things to, to explore uh, in this 4D, 2D duality. Okay, may, maybe I, I, I stop here. Okay, let's all thank Professor Kava. The floor is open for questions. Uh, please unmute and ask. Can you just go back and show your slide of your construction of uh, VR? This. Uh... Yeah, so they consider so they yeah, this one. consider yes. the language uh, affine language here. And uh, so they constructed some 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 sheets. Uh, and the con uh, so they so <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, so we have a uh, Geometric satake. So AR correspond to the regular representation of G check, a G. And uh, you consider box tensor product of uh, this regular shift. And, and, and yeah, you, you shrink pullback of the shift to, 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 to here. And then they show that this is a ring object. So that's a corresponding cohomology group, equivariant cohomology group. Has a has an algebra structure, so you can take a spectrum, and this gives you some some uh, variety. And they showed that this is uh, this has a structure of a symplectic variety equipped with uh, Hamiltonian action of uh, R copy of Z, and uh, satisfy this uh, initial condition and this associativity condition. And this and this is the Higgs branch of the, this is the Higgs of branch. The 40, uh -huh. and, and you can uh, so construction is totally different, but but uh, you can upgrade this kind of construction to the vertex algebra setting. That that's what I wrote here. So you have a parallel statement. Uh, yeah. So this is associativity condition. And this is initial condition. And uh, yeah. Uh, I have a question about uh, uh, right. yeah. so so you you constructed these uh, w algebra modules by applying this uh, functor to the say to category o for example of the affine right uh, but so just looking back on your lecture from last time so you you had this uh, mura 
map which embedded uh, the W algebra into the vertex algebra of uh, the Heisenberg, mm -hmm. Heisenberg vertex algebra. Uh, so does one know, so you could then potentially restrict uh, representations of the Heisenberg vertex algebra to this, the Mura embedding the image of the W algebra. Right, right, yeah. So does one know how that decomposes or uh, what the highest weight component there is? Uh, yeah, so, so the, this Vama um, Moju of a uh, double algebra, The, the Fox space of uh, uh, Heisenberg is the same as uh, Vermeer's of uh, double algebra in, in the in the Grothendieck group, group. So so <coughs> so Mira map gives a, a, a in the map for for Heisenberg uh, vertex algebra. An irreducible representation of, of this one is uh, very easy. Uh, it, it, uh, it's some highest suit representation. And if you view this as a, as a module by W algebra, and this representation and this representation are isomorphic for generic parameter. And so, so this means the, uh, the the composition factor uh, are the same. So, so this is the same as or some, I don't know, param the correspondence of a parameter. Yeah, I think this is correct. So, okay. so yeah, so, so this, this basically uh, tells you how, how that is uh, the composition. So, so the lambdas are the same. I mean, uh, so it's, this lambda would correspond to the gamma lambda of right, right, yeah, yeah. So okay, so but there's some some shift. You you mentioned that there is some sort uh, of two. yeah. It, uh, it depends how you normalize. I normalize so that it is holes. Okay, thanks. Any more questions? Uh, may I ask question? Yes, yes please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, could you please uh, give uh, the simplest example of uh, vertex algebra where you have model which is uh, positively graded but not ordinary? Sorry? Also graded, but but not ordinary, right? I, I think you called it or, ordinary models uh -huh, uh -huh. where you have characters. You have to be. It has to be ordinary to have characters. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't get your example of a non-ordinary vertex algebra. So you have ordinary models, right? Right, right, and. So, so ordinary models are only some uh, positively graded models. Right, right, yeah. So when uh, do we have this, uh, the simple situation where you have models which are not ordinary? Uh, for example, if you consider uh, this uh, automation graphine. Yeah. Yes. Then uh, this... Uh, so irreducible representation, uh, admissible representation of level k, but this is ordinary if if lambda if and only if lambda is is an integral dominant, but there are no integral weights when when top part is mm -hmm. infinite dimension. So 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 this is not ordinary. So why we are not ordinary? We, we don't uh, we, we, is, uh, we don't admit this character, right? Yeah. yeah so. It, so usually for for affine Lie algebra cell, you, you, you don't use only Q, but also as a parameter G, for example. But you, you if you specialize G to one, you, 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 yeah, you cannot, hmm? uh, you cannot specialize. Ah, uh, okay. 
uh, yes, thank you, Sora. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, if not, uh, let's thank both uh, Professor Arakawa and Professor Arun Ram for their uh, wonderful lectures, which they have taken a lot of effort to prepare and uh, very enjoyable. Okay. Uh, so I guess we will meet in uh, 